everyone, it's Bethany. In this tutorial, I'm working on decorating these really cute paperboard mailboxes. And I purchased two, actually I purchased three because I'm going to soon be a mom of three, so I'm ready for next year. But I have two that I'm going to decorate today. And I am doing this because both of my girls are going to sadly miss out on the whole classroom valentine fun that usually happens when attending school because we're still pretty buttoned down over here so what i'm going to do is i'm throwing my girls a little at home valentine's party so i'm going to put together these little mailboxes so i can stuff their little valentines in there and then on valentine's day they will have a cute little mailbox to open full of little valentines so i'm really excited for this i loved how blank they were because of course when i see stuff like this I always think well I can totally add vinyl to that so we are going to decorate these little boxes today I think they're really fun and I have a little roll of white vinyl and then I have a roll of light pink so I have some ideas on how I want to do this but before I hop into design space I want to get a quick idea of how much surface area I have to work with on the top of this mailbox so I'm just going to measure from this bottom part all the way over to the other side and I have about 16 and a half inches and then I'm also going to really quickly see how much space I have on the front so I have about five by six and a half and then really quickly this little flag on the mailbox I have about a little almost about two by two so we'll just be ready for that okay so let's hop into design space I'm going to show you how I'm going to wrap this mailbox with hearts I think it's gonna be really fun I'm going to put their little monogram on the front using some vinyl and some actual paper which I need to bring out and I'll put something fun on this little um, little thing all right let's get started Okay, so now that I'm in Cricut Design Space, I'm going to first and foremost come over to the shapes and I'm going to recreate all of that surface area on the top of the mailbox that I have to work with. And I have a width of 16 and a half and I have a height of 7. So this is the whole wrap that I'll be doing over the mailbox and I'm going to do hearts. So I'll go ahead and make this that nice bright pink that the mailbox is. That'll be nice and fun. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to images and I'm going to search for heart border and there is this right here I really like this I've used this on a project last year too and it makes really quick work out of projects where you're going to be doing a lot of hearts so I'll also link that other project up in the corner for you if you want to see another um, inspiration for using this file um, while I'm in the images I'm just going to grab a couple other things that I'm going to be working with so the next other item that I want to bring in is called heart doily and I am going to there's a ton to choose from I think it's this one that I'm gonna work with okay and then I think for my little flag I want to do a little envelope so I'm going to type that in and let's see I think it was envelope with heart and it's this right here. I think that's just really, really sweet. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and insert all those images. They're already lined up down here and I can insert all three at once. Okay, so now I'm going to just bring this down here. I'll bring these out of the way because I'm going to use those in just a little bit. So what I wanna do is I want to wrap my entire mailbox with hearts. I think that would be really, really fun. But in order to do that, I need to get all of the hearts um, all situated and ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead, let's go back. I think I did the wrong button. I'm going to hold shift down. And if you hold shift down, then it rotates in increments. And I'm just going to start placing little hearts everywhere on this little template that I've created. Okay, so that looks really, really sweet. Now for the next one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this by just clicking the duplicate button on the right side here. And then I am going to 
contour out one heart because I want to kind of do a little um, almost polka dot effect with the hearts so I don't want them to be you know lined up like this on each one I kind of want them to be staggered a little bit okay so then what I'm just gonna simply do is I'm going to copy and paste and just continue to add hearts throughout here. Now I'm only going to go to about the middle. So what I'm going to do is actually drag this over here so I can see where my middle point is. My middle point will be right around eight and a quarter, I believe. So I am going to work until that point and then I'll show you what I'm going to do next. Okay, so I made it right around eight and a quarter, right around eight and a half, and it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just kind of where I wanted that to be. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I am going to select all of my hearts by just holding down the command button on my keyboard and selecting all of them. And then I'm going to say align, and I am going to say distribute horizontally. And that's just gonna make sure there's even spacing um, between all of them there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I want to replicate this on the other side, but I want the hearts going another direction. That way on the other side of the mailbox, the hearts are facing in the right direction and they're not going to be upside down. If this is confusing right now, just wait until I start applying it onto the mailbox and it, you'll visually see why I'm doing it this way. So with all of these selected really quick, I'm just going to duplicate them and then I'm going to, again holding my shift button, I'm going to just arrange those the other way and then oops, I'm going to select all of them. Let's see, I'm going to have to delete this first one because we are going to be using a longer one to start and then I'm just going to place them right about here. Okay, so that looks about right to my eye, and I think that will be really, really fun. Okay, so it doesn't go all the way to the end, but that's okay. Um, it's just going to be close enough for me, and I'll just center it when I get to the mailbox. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, I love how that looks, I am going to really quickly hide my template that I made and then I'm going to select all of them one more time I'm gonna make sure they are still aligned so I'm going to distribute them horizontally and they look great and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to attach them all together so that they're ready to go so all my hearts are ready to go I'm gonna bring that over here I'm gonna duplicate that because I'm making two mailboxes and then I'm of course gonna save my file because next year I will create the third little box when we have a third little Valentine Okay, now I'm going to work on the front of the mailbox. Okay, so I'm thinking I might actually make this just a little bit longer so that it's almost a square. So I'm going to come up to my sizing and I'm going to make it three and a half by three and a half. Okay, so that looks good to me. Again, I'm going to duplicate this. And this is actually going to be, let's see, actually these hearts are all going to be out of the white vinyl and then these will be out of the light pink. So that's actually just fine the way it is. Okay, and then I'm going to size my little uh, envelope for the flag. Okay, so that'll be about one and a half by one inches. I think that will be just about perfect. Okay, so now, actually I might size that down just a little bit more just to be safe. Okay, so again, I'm going to duplicate that because again, I'm making two. And then these are going to be out of the white as well. The reason I'm color coding everything is so that my Cricut knows which item to cut on which colored mat. Okay, so I am all set to go now for vinyl, um, and the only thing I need to do is add their initials to the middle of the little monograms, so or the little hearts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to text. I'm going to use a font that I really, really like, and it's called Kate's ABC. Uh, Kate's ABC's Baby Girl. I love it. It works great. And I'm going to type the first initial of each of my girl's names. And then what I'll do is I'm going to make this just a random color. Um, it will be, how about this periwinkle? Um, and this is just going to signify that I'm going to put paper in for these elements. Let's see. So I'll just ungroup to letters here. Okay. There we go. Let me size those together really quickly. So I, and I want 
want them to be pretty big and it's okay if they overlap some of those heart pieces. Um, it's just gonna turn out looking really neat because I'm going to use pop dots for this part. Okay, so those are all sized and ready to go and I'm all set. Now what I can do is I have my Explorer 2 selected. I'm going to say make it and then it's going to place them on the mats accordingly. So it's giving me an alert up here just letting me know that I'm going to need one of my longer mats. So I'm going to grab a 12 by 24 mat for the first two and then for the next one this will be my paper and then the final one this will be vinyl as well. Okay, so now I can say okay, I understand, and I can say continue. So for my vinyl, I will just use the premium vinyl setting, so I'll browse all materials. I can just type in premium, and I can use the premium vinyl setting. And then for my paper, I'm not sure which paper I'm going to use, but I'll let you know which paper setting that I decide on once I get there. But again, I will have to make sure that I go and change the setting when it comes to the paper. For my Explorer 2, I just leave my dial on custom and I do all my material selections manually in Cricut Design Space. All right, let's get it cutting out. Okay, so again, I'm using my 12 by 24 mat for those longer designs. So I'm just going to place my vinyl. This is Oracle 651 vinyl. And I really love working with it, especially in white, because their backing is blue. You'll see when I start weeding, which makes it really easy to see where you're weeding. Um, Cricut vinyl is white on white, so it makes it really difficult to see. So I really like Oracle 651, especially when I'm doing white, but actually I just prefer their uh, vinyl in general. It's just really nice. Okay, so I'll go ahead and open up my machine and load my mat. Okay, so the paper that I decided to go with is one of my favorites. It comes from this Martha Stewart pack, and it's so pretty. I don't know that you can get this anymore. I'll try to link it. I got it from Michaels, um, but it's gorgeous. I love it. I have a couple packs, but I'm going to use this floral. It's really pretty. So the setting that I will use will probably be cardstock because it's a thicker scrapbook paper, so I'll probably just use like a light cardstock setting when I change my settings in Cricut Design Space to cut out. Okay, so now I am just starting to weed out my designs, and honestly, this is why I love working with Oracle 651. It is such a dream to weed. It's so easy. It makes really quick work out of weeding. And this piece that is coming off, this um, overlay piece, you could keep this and do something with it. That would make a really neat additional design. So be sure to save that if you have something in mind for this because that would be really fun. Okay, so that is done. Weeded effortlessly and then I have my little envelopes here. So I wanted to make sure that I actually posted this tutorial early enough. I think it's going to be about a month before Valentine's Day just to inspire you as well if you are um, still doing um, at home learning and if you want an idea for how to make Valentine's Day super special. Okay, so this is actually Paper Studio Vinyl, which I really do like to work with. I um, I find that it works pretty well. So I, I especially I actually only really use it for this color because this color is one of my favorites and it's just perfect in that. So now I'm going to just go through and get all those little tiny pieces out that make up the doily. So it's probably going to be a little bit of labor, labor of love. If you don't enjoy weeding, then this part might not be your favorite, but it turns out really, really neat. And this vinyl does a really good job of handling the small little pieces that come out. Okay, so I went ahead and put one together just to see how I liked um, the process and I at one point had vinyl in my hair. It was a little crazy. So going into the second one, I wanted to show you what I learned so that you can find it to be a little bit more manageable. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to use this masking paper transfer tape. I like to use this transfer tape when I am working with... Um, projects that have a base that is delicate like this. So this has more of a paper base. 
So if you were to use like a strong grip transfer tape on this and then try to rip off the transfer tape, it would rip off your project. It would rip off this papery finish. And so you don't want to do that. You want to make sure you are using a transfer tape that is delicate enough to handle it. So I'm using this masking paper transfer tape. I love using this. I actually use this for a lot of different product projects, um, not only cards and, um, and projects that are more delicate. So I'm going to go ahead and cover the entire thing. And then my original idea was I was going to lay this all down at one time. And it was just an absolute disaster. It was a pain in Cupid's butt, let me tell you. It was crazy. So I definitely had a few choice words to say about it. And so I'm going to show you an easier way that I think is going to be a little bit more manageable. So I know that I did a lot of work in design space to make sure that these were evenly spaced and unfortunately that's something that I'm gonna probably ruin um, when I'm applying it down because I'm gonna actually apply this down in sections I find that it's just gonna be a lot more manageable and easy so you can approach this any way that you'd like but I have tried it and it was just kind of crazy so I'm gonna do it differently the second time around so I'm gonna go ahead and press the back side as well to make sure everything is nice and down. Okay. And then I'm just going to do it one more time just because the first time I did this, it took a lot of effort to get the hearts to come up for some reason. Okay. So now I am going to slowly peel away my carrier sheet, leaving my heart. Oh my gosh, this is going so much better than the first time. I accidentally had forgotten to hit record the first time when I did my first box, and yeah, I'm really glad you guys didn't have to see that mess. It was crazy. So I wonder if my transfer tape actually was starting to get old because um, it just didn't feel as sticky as this, so I'm not sure. But let's see how this, this round works to go slow. Okay, okay, so once I get halfway, remember where my heart started going in a different direction, I'm going to actually trim it off. And I'm actually going to trim down the middle here. Okay, so I'm going to do one half and then one half. So I'm just going to leave these hearts on the transfer tape and carrier sheet while I do the first half. So I'm going to do the half that does not have the little flag on it. And I'll show you how I went around that other in a second. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I think I left about an inch at the bottom and I just lined it up as best to my eye. I'm one of those people that just eyeballs things. And then I just laid it down just like that. Okay. And then honestly, I use my fingers quite a bit for this. You can use a scraper tool. I would just recommend just kind of going pretty lightly on it, just like this. And then up here as well. Okay. And then go ahead and take off the transfer tape. See how that comes off so nicely and it doesn't damage that paper box underneath. Okay, so that is good to go. So now I have hearts on the first half of my mailbox. So I'm going to set this to the side. I can set it aside this way now. And then I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to burnish this down one more time and attempt to peel up the rest of them. Hopefully it goes as good as the first half. Okay, so, so far so good. And if there's any hearts that want to come up, you can use your weeding tool to just help them stay down. Sometimes they want to move around, and that's kind of a stinker, but you can fix that. Okay, oh my goodness, that is going so much better than the first time. Okay, so, let's see, was there one? I feel like this one's a little crooked. Okay, it should be okay. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is... 
I think I'm going to do the first three rows. So this is what I mean where, like, in design space, I would do being really meticulous about the spacing. But honestly, you can line it up, but I just was finding it easier to not wrap the whole thing at once. And that's just kind of a part of crafting. Sometimes you go in with a certain idea in mind and then you realize that either it wasn't really realistic or it really wasn't the best method. So you just change it and, and do what feels better in the moment. Whatever makes you feel most confident is the right answer. There's really no right or wrong way to do things. Whatever you feel is best is the right way to do it. Okay, so this makes me feel the best because it makes me feel like I have a little bit more control over it. Okay, now I'm just going to peel up my transfer tape. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this all the way down, just like this, okay. Now I'm going to do the second, let's do the second three. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line them up just like I normally do. Okay, and then I'm going to go from the left to the right here. And then I'm going to only press down the ones that are going to stay there. And there's going to be three that don't stay because that's going to go behind the little flag. Okay, and you can save these little hearts because you might want to put some in some filler areas or whatever. Okay, so we'll scrape those down. You see how that wraps really nicely around the little flag there? Okay, so now peel up super super cute and the final little piece so I found that this was a lot more manageable to me um that's actually gonna kind of be a little close to the bottom on that side but that's okay they're gonna love this no matter what really the only person who's gonna be technical about it is the mom right okay so just like this We are done. Oh, that looks really cute. Okay, I love how that looks. So now it is wrapped around the entire mailbox with a little, it's going to shift directions on the top, which I really, really like. Okay, so perfect. Now what I can do is, I actually, do you know what I think I might do is I might actually cut out some extra hearts and put them down here just so that reaches the bottom a little bit more. And that's as easy as just printing out a row in design space and then just manually placing them like stickers. So I can do that after the tutorial, that way you don't have to watch me do that. But I'll just go back into Cricut Design Space, print myself out a couple more hearts and then I'll finish that side. Easy peasy. Okay, so now I'm going to reuse some of my transfer tape. And what I like about this is you can just rip it and it's super easy. Okay, so now I'm going to place them on my little um, envelope here. Okay, so I'm just going to put my flag up just like that. And place that down. And then I'm just going to rub with my fingers, being careful because this, you know, is hot. It's not really on a surface or anything, so I want to bend that and then take it off. I love that. It kind of reminds me of getting love mail. So that's really cute. Okay. So now we are going to work on the top. So the top is going to have our little heart. So I'm going to grab a cup of, let's see, can I reuse any transfer tape? I probably can. Let me grab a little piece of this. Okay. And then I'm just going to peel away my transfer tape, leaving my little heart there. How cute is that? Okay, so then for this last part, I'm just going to take those little um, initials that I cut out and I actually used the heavy cardstock setting on the initials because I needed it to cut through a little bit more. So that was the final um, cut setting on that. So I'm just going to take some pop dots and I'm going to place them underneath on the back side and then I might need to cut one down just to make sure that 
it's skinny enough. Now I'm just going to turn that over and put the little initial right in the middle of the little heart there. And I like doing the pop dots just because it gives it a little dimension and raises it up off the surface there. And I think that's really, really fun. Okay, so that is it. Very quick, very easy. Um, easier the second time around for sure. I needed a little practice on the first round, but I think that wraps really, really nice. Again, I'm just going to add a couple more hearts to the bottom on this side, and I think it'll look really, really fun. But it's just going to be a nice little addition to our Valentine's Day, and then they're just going to have a fun little day when they see and open up this little box. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you in the next video.